ويقوم بالقلب. So therefore, at the sukkot, this type of complaining can be in the heart, upon the tongue, and upon the limbs. And the obligation is to be patient. يصبر بقلبه وبلسانه وبجوارحه. A person should be patient in his heart, upon his tongue, and in his limbs. ما الذي يمنع من التسخم؟ الإيمان بالله. And what is the thing which will prevent a person from being having to suffer? And this type of complaint, a person's iman in Allah. Al-iman al-thalith an anawin al-sa'ad al-thalath. And then the third key from the three keys to happiness is إذا أدرى بستقبل. That when a person commits a sin, he seeks forgiveness. كل بني آدم خطاء. As the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, every single one of the children of Adam is somebody who commits mistakes or makes errors of sins. So therefore, what should you do if you commit sin? Either shaitan comes to you and he causes you to be despondent and lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Therefore, you don't seek forgiveness. لا تقنط من رحمة الله وتتوب وتستغفر. Or you do not become despondent and lose hope in the mercy of Allah and therefore you seek forgiveness and you supplicate. مثال. An example of this is. يأتي الشيطان إلى بعض الناس. Shaitan comes to some people. طالب دخل إلى المسجد ومعنا في الدرس. A student enters into the lesson and is sitting amongst us in the lesson. يوسوس له الشيطان في الدرس. And Shaitan begins to begin to whisper to him inside the lesson. He says, "You are now going to talk about the prayer, the tawbah, and the prayer of the knowledge." To talk, meaning Ria. Oh, so Shaitan comes to him and he says to him, "Look, it's as if now you're showing off the fact that you've come to the masjid, you're praying, you have tawbah." وأنت قبل ساعة صنعت كذا وصنعت كذا وصنعت كذا من الذنوب والمعاصي. And yet only an hour ago you were there sinning and doing this and doing these bad actions. فهذا يعني مع الوسوسة يقول له الشيطان اترك العبادة وابقى على المعاصي. So the shaitan through all these whispers will say to him that look leave alone this worshiping and just carry on with your sins. فهو إما أن يستجيب للشيطان ويطلب من رحمة الله. So either this student who enters into the masjid, he either listens to shaitan and becomes despondent of the mercy of Allah, أو يتوب واستغفر. Or he seeks forgiveness and he repents. وأيهما أختار؟ And which one do you choose? لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله. Like Allah said, do not become despondent and lose hope in the mercy of Allah. إذا هذه الثلاث هي عنوان السعة. And therefore these things are these three matters are the keys to happiness. في السعة شاكر. That when you are happy, you are thankful. وعند المصيبة صابر. And when you are afflicted by a calamity, you are patient. وعند المعصية مستقر. And when a person commits a sin, then he seeks forgiveness. نراجع ما أخذنا ثم بعد هذا نبدأ في الأمر الثاني مما ذكرنا في فرنسا القواعد الأربعة. So as usual, go back into your groups, revise, write down, memorize. So we're going to go through and advise everything that we've done right now, and then we begin the second part. ما نأخذ. Okay, what have we taken? Now, what what do we benefit today? أنا عارف. Who knows? The introduction and the key to happiness. المقدمة. المقدمة وهذا المقدمة فيها عنوان السعادة. فتح الله عليك. غير. نعم. ينبغي أن لا ندرس. كتاب كشف الشبهات الا بعد دراسه ذكرنا ان قبل البدء بالدراسه امور وهذا كان في الدرس السابق. درس اليوم عنوان السعه. قلنا بدا المؤلف هذا المتن المبارك بالبسمله بالبسمله كتاب الكتاب العزيز. نعم. So uh, the brother mentioned that one of the things I benefited was that you don't study كشف الشبهات before قائد الاربعه. The Sheikh mentioned that that's true but this is we mentioned yesterday. As for this lesson the brother mentioned that one thing to be benefited is that the author began the introduction with the Bismillah. <coughs> and the reason why he did this was, <coughs> first of all, following the guidance of the book Al Quran, <coughs> following the guidance of the Prophet, <coughs> and the way of the pious Imams and scholars who came previously. By seeking blessing by giving the name of Allah. And then using the hadith, even though there's some difference of opinion on these things. And also that the author 
he supplicated, the author supplicated for the student two times in this book and three times in the previous book. So what did the author supplicate for? That Allah, he gives you, or he's a guardian over you in this earth and the hereafter, and Allah makes you blessed wherever you are. Man Allah. Who are the awliya of Allah? Man Allah. Who are the awliya of Allah? Allah is the one who 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 is the Those people who have Iman, who can be taqoon, and those people who have taqwa, this piety. And for this reason, Shaykh Sam ibn Taymiyyah said, Man kana mu'min and taqiyyan, whomsoever is a believer, has Iman, and he has a taqwa, kana lillahi waliyan, he is a wali of Allah. A person, he sleeps between the graves, yashrab al-khumur, drinks alcohol, لا يأتي بالطاعات. He doesn't do any form of goodness or obedience. ويأتي بالمنكرات والمحرمات. He does all of the evil things and the forbidden matters. ولا يتطهر من بول وكذا. And a person doesn't purify himself from urine and other things. هذا ولي ولا شك في ولاده. This is a ولي. This is a ولي. And there's no doubt that this person is a ولي, a guardian. نعم. Yes, he's a ولي. من أولياء الشيطان. But from the أولياء الشيطان. ولا بد أن نفرق بين أولياء الرحمن وأولياء الشيطان. We have to differentiate between the أولياء of the most merciful of الرحمن and the أولياء of the شيطان. ولهذا ألف شيخ الإسلام رحمه الله تعالى كتابا سما. And because of this, شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية من الله بسم الله عليه. الفرقان. He authored a book which he named الفرقان. The distinguishing factor. يعني يفرق بين أولياء الرحمن وأولياء الشيطان. Which distinguishes between the awliya of Allah, the most merciful, and the awliya of the shaytan. Al-Furqan, between the awliya of Rahman and the awliya of the shaytan. Yes. And other than that. What else do we benefit? The three keys of happiness. Yes. The three keys of happiness. The three keys of happiness. يشتري الكتاب أو يقتني كتاب أو يهدى لي كتاب ينظر في المقدمة وفي الفارس فتح الله عليه. A person buys a book or is given a book, a gift to the book, acquires a book, as a brother mentioned, may Allah bless him, that you don't put this book down before you've read the contents and the index. ما نذكر لنا الإنترنشن. ما نذكر لنا عنوان السعادة. Who will mention the key to happiness? The three keys to happiness, three matters. نعم. The first, the first one is to show thankfulness. And the second one is to have sabr. To be patient with the trial. And the third one is. And the third one is. And the maasiya. When a person stops, when a person commits a sin. They seek forgiveness. Seek forgiveness. Seek forgiveness. Seek forgiveness. Seek forgiveness. هل النعمة ابتلاء نعم أم لا مع الدليل؟ is a blessing can it be or is it an affliction and a trial or a test under evidence؟ ما نعرف. what's the evidence for this؟ who knows؟ نعم. النعمة ابتلاء. النعمة ابتلاء والدليل. قول سبحان وتعالى هناك أدلة. نعم أدلة منها. من الشر والخير. خير في نعم. And the brother mentioned that yes, a blessing can be fitna, it can be a trial, and the evidence is the same. Allah said there's many evidences from amongst the saying is that Allah said we will test you, but I never know we will test you with evil and also with goodness. There's something bad and there's something good as a fitna, as a test or a trial. So what is the obligation upon you when you are given a ni'mah blessing? We said two matters. نعم. لا بد من أولي. two matters of your time. نعم. to be watchful before the blessing comes. الله تعالى قبل أن تأتي النعمة. نعم. say again. to be. to be um. 
لابد من تعلق قبل أن تأتي معه. So before the blessing comes, you attach yourself to Allah. The revelation of Allah, you worship Allah. وبعد أن تأتي معه. After the blessing comes, you hold on to your body. يشكو. كيف يشكو؟ بالقلب وباللسان وبالجوارح. How do you show gratitude? On your heart and your tongue and lips. فتح الله عليك. طيب. وضد. شكر النعمة كفر النعمة يكفر بقلبه وبلسانه وبجوارحه. And the opposite showing gratitude for the blessing is disbelieving or rejecting the blessing. And this is in your heart, upon your tongue, and upon your lips. وأخذنا طريقة السنة والجماعة في ذكر القصص أنهم يكثر منها وتذكر للاستئناس للاحتجاج. And we also mention the methodology of Ahlul Sunnah and Jamaa when it comes to mentioning stories. And that is that every now and again we can mention a story. But not as a source of evidence in itself. You can use evidence from it, but just as a sport, a sports of the evidence. What is the obligation when you are tested with something, when you are afflicted by something, a calamity? Now, be patient. So patience is an obligation according to the ijma of the ummah. And the, the opposite of a sabr is. التسخط الاعتراض على قضاء القدر. التسخط meaning complaining and being grateful for the decree. كيف يتسخط؟ How does a person have the support? بالقلب واللسان والجوارح. In the heart and the tongue and upon the lips. ثم الثالث. And the thirdly. عند المعصية. When a person sins. مستوى. The person should be seeking forgiveness. ثم أن المؤلف رحمه الله تعالى ذكر القسم الثاني على ما قسمه. And then the author he mentioned or he went to the second section of the book as we have split it. Wow, the man that we need to study the Quran. And that is why should we study the Quran? Wow, Allah is the Muhalif Muhammad Taala on this issue. And the author he always attaches importance to this issue. Because there is someone who opposes the Quran. Because there exists some people who wage a war against the Quran of the Quran. What I read. أن نعلم التوحيد أو نتعلم التوحيد. And they don't want from us to teach توحيد and neither should we learn توحيد. وإذا ذكر الله وحده شما أسد قلوب الذين لا يؤمنون بالآخر. Like Allah said in the Quran that when Allah is mentioned alone, may a توحيد, then their hearts feel they they become restricted or they feel you know restricted and they become sad and unhappy. وإذا ذكر الذين من دون إذا هم يستبشرون. And yet when other than Allah is mentioned, then they become happy. Then they give the glad tidings and good news. How would that affect the hearts of the people? So you have to become happy with regards to the lessons of Tawheed. It is the life of the hearts. That you attach yourself to Allah, you have this relationship with Allah. So that you don't fall into shirk. Because as shaytan, So the shaytan, he puts out, uh, he puts out traps just as the fisherman, who is or the hunter, he puts out a trap for the thing which is hunting or fish. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he warned us from a ship. Allah As Allah said in the Quran, that indeed Allah does not forgive that partners are ascribed to him. So therefore, convey Allah's pardon and safety. If a person dies upon a ship, that this person will enter into the fire forever, and Shirk Akbar, enter into the fire forever. And if a person died upon Shirk Al-Asqar, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for safety and pardoning, a person will be punished according to the level of his Shirk, and then he will enter into Jannah. So in all cases and in all instances, we have to warn against and we have to be careful of shirk al akbar and asqar, the major form of shirk and the minor form of shirk. And this issue of this point we've studied and we've come across it both in the introduction to Usul al Thalatha previously and the introduction to this book. And that we have been created for a particular objective. And it is a tawheed. And if a person he occupies himself with this objective, then he will become happy. And if a person does not occupy himself with a tawhid, then for him is 
بين مايزا وريتشي اند سادنس وي هاف تو اسك اوف سيكند بارت هذا هو القسم الثاني سو ذيس از ذا سيكند ديفيجنال سيكشن اوف ذا بوك ثم شرع المؤلف رحمه الله تعالى في القسم الثالث وهو اصل الكتاب and then the author rahimahullah he began with the third section of the book and this is the main section of the book he mentioned four, four uh, 